good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Great and wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world. I greet you and I welcome you to this program. Uh, my apologies. Of freedom all over the world. Okay, my apologies for that no sound and I saw that many people were sending me messages. I did not realize. You know, that's what happened. I changed my studio tonight. I changed my, you know, broadcasting studio tonight. That's why I could not actually, you know, dictate that there is no sound. So, my apologies to you, great, wonderful people of Biafra all over the world for that, um, you know, interruption and uh, no sound. So we must continue. That means I am going to actually bring back what I was reading, which I was reading what... Let me open it one more time, then present it back and read it because it is actually the same thing that I was reading. Um, this one showed the statistics of how it is so i am going to bring it and we look at it before we proceed what i am bringing in front of you is the result of the election you know is the, it is the result of the election that was taking place the reason why i am bringing it if you check our topic it says the what is you know the life of ipob are uh, the life um the way forward of biafra agitation after this presidential election and what is the faith of one nigeria and of course we are going to be talking about the bankruptcy of this criminal in finland who was you know already you know going into bankrupt he is already bankrupt before he decided to take up this journey that he took up that he is you know using to kill our people just for the sake of fortune and fame like i always told, tell you there was a time I, I actually tweeted that if not for the coming of ipob you will understand that so many people during um covid 19 lockdown so many people went bankrupt so many people could not find uh, stand on their feet anymore during covid 19 uh, um lockdown in europe and across the world it is natural disaster it is not somebody's uh, it is not something that uh, anybody called for themselves but how do you actually try to make money after that or try to actually bring back those things you felt that you have lost during this covid 19 era that is as a result of so many people who lost their job so many people who lost their businesses of course myself i lost my biggest business during COVID 19 i lost it but it will it never actually pushed me to go and do what some of you are doing today because some of so many things happened during COVID 19 but the most important thing that happened is that some people as a result of them being under pressure they joined IPOB. Joining IPOB in an event of trying to use IPOB to make money. And these same people started calling people career agitators. I, I saw a post, I saw a post on Facebook, which, you know, which actually it is a report, not just a post, it is a report that so many you know that uh, this Eberima in finland his you know company was actually bankrupt bankrupted before he joined ipob which means whatever he come to ipob to do it is a career agitation career agitation so many people didn't know i tweeted it and if you go to my twitter twitter page if you scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, you will see where I tweeted it, that COVID-19 lockdown, which took away people's job, made so many of, you know, these people come to social media, start propagating IPOB. Thank God for this Biafra agitation, which makes them to start eating once more. Or, it, you know, which ha they have made their career using Biafra agitation. And they are the same people calling other people career agitators. 
We are going to make it clear today, but let us actually focus on this news about the Nigeria election and the Nigeria um, selection. Because what we are seeing is Nigeria selection. It is no long, it is not a Nigeria election. There has never been an election in Nigeria. It's always selection. Just like you may all know that even Tony Blinken, US, Europe, everywhere they are interested in Nigeria selection. And the reason best known to them, they were even advertising. The big world, the first world country advertising for Nigeria election, which is what they will they always de, do every day. Just like Obama, during the Obama administration, he actually advertised Nigeria election by himself, by saying keeping Nigeria one is the tax that must be done, and threatening the you know the incumbent you know leader in 2015 that uh, election must not be manipulated but i don't see anybody threatening anybody this time around for this election not to be manipulated i saw so many people dancing yesterday saying that buhari voted for p2b you know the, something about you people in nigeria is that you people are so naive you are naive you know the way you are naive has made you not to understand, you know, anything. You cannot understand anything when you are so naive. Because your problem is naivety. You are so naive. Now, let me clear you up. The fact that the incumbent, you know, whoever that is there voted for P2B, you, I, you, you, have, you always forget. I don't know if that is true, but that is what I saw on the television of whoever that was presented it. He said that he voted Labour Party. Now, do you know the reason why he is voting Labour Party? I want you people to understand that there is something called psychological manipulation, psychological, you know, warfare. One vote of a president count as one vote of individual. A vote of a president is one man, one vote. It counts as a vote of a as an individual. So people were jumping. Uh, uh, Buhari voted for um, Pito B. Buhari this and that. Without you realizing whether he vote, he is entitled to vote for anybody. But that vote is actually to act, you know to to confuse a narrative confuse a plan that was the reason why he voted for labor party because they know of course that labor party is not desired party to win but they know what to do whether he vote for him for them or he doesn't vote for them one vote one man but he voted for him so that you will believe if there is any or a manipulation towards this election process you will say, no, it is not about it. Meanwhile, the sitting president voted for them. He supported them. So this is just the, you know, the number. That is how it is. The election was not manipulated. It is actually to deceive you. But most important thing we need to do first, let us actually go to the statistics of this election. Let us go to the result that was published. And I believe it is the last one that is still there in the public domain. Let me go to this news. I am going to read it, this one. It is coming to you in Pigeon, in Pigeon, Pigeon English. The Nigeria presidential election result 2023 life result as Atiku Abu Bakabola made it to P2P and others. The battle for presidency. Now pay attention. The national chairman of Nigeria Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud. Uh, Yakubu say collation of result collation of the of the result okay this is pigeon English sorry the collation of result for the presidential election will start on Sunday on Sat on Sunday yes the chairman disclosed on Saturday as him give update on the voting process nationwide millions of 
Nigerians vote for the most competitive presidential election since military rule end. Them also vote to elect lawmaker into the National Assembly, 109 federal senators and 360 members of the House of Representatives, and that for governors they hold a march. Since 1999, Africa's most populous country don't they dominate by two parties. The ruling APC and the PDP. And the PDP. But this time, he also gets strong challenge from one third party candidate, the Labour Party. Peter B, where they back, where they backed by many young people. The, the, the election don't see huge interest from first time. Voters and young people, one third of the 87 million eligible voters, they below, they below 35. The fit lead to high voter turn out than the 35 percent where them record for 2019. Although voting been the expected to been the expected to begin at 8:30 local time, 7:30 whatever. So now let me now move forward towards the result because I don't want to take much of your time this evening. I want to actually bring it to you let me look at this let me see if i will be able to bring to you this result how it is presented now when you look at these things this is a life result this is a life result now here you go see the result when they start the day the drop when they start the drop now are we seeing the result as they started to drop? Now, number one candidate is 65.38%, which is Bola Ahmed Tunubu. 65.38%, which count 201,494 votes. Atiku Abubakar, second, 29,007%. Okay, sorry, 29.06%, which is 89,554 votes. Now, Pito will be 3.7%, which is the lowest, which is 11,396, you know, votes. I believe, I don't know if this is one party or one, is it a, a one state or one, I don't know where this one is coming from, but... They say that life result. Of course, you can see it yourself here. It says life result. You can see it yourself. And it is blinking, showing that it is actually updating itself. It is not, be, you know, it is actually updating each time it drop as, he, as they, they talk. Um. They say that this is life result. Now here you go, they see the result when then they start to the drop. That's how they put it. So this is how it is dropping. Bola made the Tunubu is the is still the winner of this so far. So far. Atiku is the second so far. Obi is the last so far. Which and and the, you know the others and others. So now let us continue to see which let me see if it is a particular state or it is just <laughs> it is just um the collective election in all states so far i know things are changing but things will change as the result is being uh, reported but now let us go to the latest news that just dropped a few minutes ago and see if indeed if there is any new update let me see in this one if there is any new update. All right. Let me remove this and bring the new one. Let us check new update. Okay. This one just entered a few minutes ago. There is, um, I want to tell you the time, the date. If you check here, February 26. 
This is Bloomberg. February 26, 2023, 8.40 a.m. GMT. Updated on February 26, 2023, 7.33 p.m. GMT plus one, which is your time. It is around after seven that this one, this, um, this news came up. Let me read it. The Nigeria, okay. The Nigeria ruling parties, presidential candidate Bola Tinubu won the most vote in a small southwest state as the first result from Saturday's election began, um, began being released. I uh, began being released. I'm, st I'm reading English now, no longer um, registering. Tunubu won 201,494 votes in a kitty state. Okay. The returning officer of the province said at the briefing organized by the Independent National Electoral Commission on Saturday, the People Democratic Party Atiku Abubakar got 89,554, while the Labour Party's P2B gained, uh, garnered 11,929. Nine, eleven thousand ninety-seven. Why is Facebook kicking people out? They even kick my, you know, myself out where I am monitoring this program. So it says also that Nigeria has thirty-six states and the capital region of Abuja. Elector election in Africa biggest democracy have been mad by glitches in the new electronic system that's been used to verify citizens identities delaying voting that that was followed by a snag in polling stations transmitting the count raising concern that the result might be might, might get compromised the election agencies will next meet at 11 A.M. Monday, Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu said. Opposition parties asked the Electoral Commission to immediately release the result from the vote to reduce the chances of the outcome being compromised. Polling stations were supposed to transmit the count as soon as they were tilled. They were tallied, rather. But the Electoral Commission has published result from less than a quarter of them by 4 p.m. local time official officials in some areas including one south of the capital abuja one south of the capital abuja uploading no uploading okay uploaded note saying Oof. capital abuja uploaded note saying the election was declared not contested following attacks by criminals not contested following attacks by criminals there is a post here some polling station near abuja are uploading notes are uploading notes like this instead of pulling results after hoodlums destroy ballot box seems the result may not be announced in a hurry nigeria election 2023 nigeria decide read more okay i don't know if you are seeing the picture that is right in front which they they say that 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 is being uploaded instead of the result let me see what is written in this picture election report at polling unit uh we held election at polling unit 37 genua uh is it a degree in front of village head house then 25th 02 20, uh, 2023 which was obstructed by hoodlums the hoodlums destroyed all the electoral materials at the polling unit which include um, ballot box boxes ballot papers cubicles and other non-sensitive materials except the BVAs.
except the beavers which we took along i am reading this thing that is written in a paper with a pen that is the result that was uploaded instead of the re election result so which we took along along i can't see properly what that that, that is saying for safety there, thereafter some security agents come to the polling unit to quell the uproar and the normalcy was restored in the polling unit we were then asked to commence the election by some dreadful men we were then asked for, to commence the elections by some dreadful men which we have which we have to succumb to their request to ensure our safety wow at the end we convince them we convince them we cannot count the vote at the polling center due to insecurity which was our alibi of escaping whatever may come Therefore, we proceeded our our registration area, our registration area center, and the election was declared not contested by the presida presiding officer. Hmm. It was not so. Election did not happen, Abuja. So they can probably it means that they have cancelled this one. They have cancelled this one. In fighting in River State ruling, ruling party may help OB. February 25. In fighting between leaders of the main opposition, People Democratic Party, which rules the biggest state in Nigeria oil producing region, is likely to help Labour Party. So this is not um yes on weekend, the outgoing state governor refused to back Abubakar. Okay. This is not what we are looking for. That one we know. Okay, article Abubakar actually called um the richest man in Africa commented. They made comment on the election. So so far, this is what we have at our disposal so far as per the election. The reason why I am trying to read these things to, for you to know exactly what is going on. So many people who say that Buhari voted for Biden, so many people who were counting the elections in some south, southern path, they were jumping, they were happy, you know, believing that it is going to end there. We are still actually watching to see what is going on, but so far, the result you saw here which they say it is the life result let me show you again they say it is the life result it is actually the ruling party that is still winning in that life result the ruling party is still winning that life result and there is nothing anybody will do about it so of course, you can see it right in front of you. It is still the ruling party. Let me enlarge it. I don't know. Let me see if you are able to see those numbers, those statistics, how they presented it. I believe, I believe you can. You can. You are seeing it. So in these things that you have seen, I want you to know exactly what is going on there. The APC Bola Medi Tunubu is still winning. It's still leading the figures that you is in front of your screen. And I don't think there is any other figure you have or any other updated figure you have. If there is, um, you are welcome to actually comment there because this is the one that is at my disposal right now. And I want our people to know that. The way you have seen this one that has been published, we will see more. We will see more. But we are looking forward to see what is going to come out of this shenanigan they call election. Of course, you saw many things happened. That why did Buhari vote for Labour Party? 
Immediately when I saw Buhari voting for Labour Party, that's when I know that there is something going on. That there is something going on. Because it does not make sense. He belonged to APC. And in the live television, people were screaming, Buhari is voting for Labour Party. It can only mean one thing. And that thing is all about what is it, you know, what is the catch? Is it a psychological game? Is it manipulation? Is it trying to make sure that he make you believe that he also support your obedience? So in case if there is anything that happened in between or after, you will not blame him. You will say that he personally is supporting the obedient. These are the things we are going to actually bring to the your, to your notice when we see the final result. Of course, there is nothing we are going to conclude right now until we see the final result. But the sum, the one we have seen right now that is presented, um, the Emilokon is the leading figure in that regard. So we are now going to deliberate what will Nigeria be like. If Emilio can assume office, because he's still the leading figure of what we are seeing now. So we will now focus on him. What will Nigeria be like? The election is gone. It is. It has come and it has gone. It is not longer like we. Are, you, if you talk about this, you will. It will be like you are advocating or you are promoting them. Just like the enemy will always try to change put one out most important thing since emilio Khan is still the leading figure what will nigeria be like in 2023 and in this regard how long is emilio Khan going to be in that office before he give up to this illness that he is suffering from and what will be the thing that they are going to do if eventually Emil Ocon doesn't make it till the, you know, the end of his tenure. Now, does it mean that it is another year, another election where <laughs> um, uh, uh, medical checkup, taxpayers' money will be paying for medical checkup while the economy is going down more? Okay, let us now shift, move away from Emil Ocon and give it to Atiku. If we give it to Atiku, what will Nigeria be like? Is Nigeria going to, you know, is Nigeria going to be Islamized? If you even think about um, Emilokon, it's Muslim, Muslim ticket. So that is a sign of Islamization. Now, if you go to Atiku, it is Muslim. He is Muslim. And he is the first choice of Fulani. Either he is first choice of Fulani. If he doesn't make it, it goes to um, is Emilokon. If Emilokon doesn't make it, they know that they know what to do for Emilokon to faint and not make it anymore. And for their Muslim Muslim ticket, the other ticket to click in and become the president, because this will not be like Osibanjo and the. The imposter in Asorok. So in this shenanigan that is playing right now, after this election, if Peter B eventually come out of this and become a winner of this election, what will Nigeria be like? What will the agitation be like? Do you think the agitation is going to you know fade? Do you think the agitation is going to actually be taken? To, to the next level do you think that the agitation is going to actually you know take you know will do you think it is going to lose momentum do you think it is going to lose momentum the reason why i am asking you this because so many people have started so many people left the agitation while campaigning for ob 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 and there is a saying now that day that says that what are you for now Mulanya or a toy by force? What are you for now Mulanya or a toy by force? And 
these ob 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 people they have eaten what they are actually staying awake for and let us now see how it is going to present itself now number one thing that is going to happen when if ob eventually assume the office if he win the agitation will you know continue and the agitation will actually go to its peak do you know the reason why the agitation will continue because now this is when he need to prove to you that he is a biafran he must prove to you that he's a biafran because whenever a fulani man goes into power he fulfilled the desire of fulanis they fulfill the desire of Fulanis. That is exactly the reason why you see everybody, those that are in the leadership of securities in Nigeria, they are mostly the Northern people, the Fulanis. That is fulfilling the mandate, giving them security, making sure that the Fulanis are ruling Nigeria. Not Fulani plus Igbo or Fulani. Um, and some of the Oduduwas will be there. Few of them. So, now when Obi goes there, is he going to fulfill the mandate? Is he going to give security to Biafrans? Especially those who actually, you know, believed in him and leaving the struggle behind. Because our people, most of them, they are always looking for the moving train without knowing the outcome of that moving train, without even, you know, asking themselves, this moving train, that he, is he going to reach? But because they have seen it, that it is moving, they actually put their mind to it. it they started moving with it without knowing the direction of where this train is going to land them. That is the problem of those who deviated from this struggle and went into politics. And another thing, the reason why IPOB did not say we are going to boycott this election or call people to sit at home, it is because of all this election manipulation, rigging, and all that that you see going on today. Because we want them to know that IPOB is not the problem or that is, is not the problem of anything in Nigeria. Rather, Nigeria is the problem the structure is the problem. The people in the position of power is the problem. We are the victim. That is exactly what we want to. The message we are go, we are, we have sent to the world by abstaining from this, you know, you know, refraining from this election, making sure it does not, you know, they will not say it is because of Biafra, it is because of agitation. No. So whatever that you see that will take place after this shenanigan that you have seen that is playing out right now, they will not have IPOB to blame. Now everybody will understand what IPOB has been gunning about. And another thing is that whoever that assumed that office, it will never change the, you know, the energy in this struggle it will never change it if it is p2b p2b we will continue the agitation there is no going back we will continue the agitation and if you want to use if you want to use what do you call it iron fist if you want to use iron fist to you know stop the agitation that is when it will become very interesting because immediately when p2b goes into the power i believe that ipob are going to give them our request give them our request this is what we want so he will look into it and he must actually fulfill our request and once we give him that request if he does not fulfill our request, regardless of whether it's the Obio, whether it's Tunubu, or whether it is Atiku, the agitation will be fueled and it will go into another level because 
that is when we have a age goal for four a age goal for go now whatever we start doing because if you look at what is going on in this in this election you should know that the election you see today it is about you know obi you see today it is the agitation that gave birth to obi agitation that made obi to be loved agitation that made obi to be you know to have influence across the world it is the agitation and this thing shows you that the whole world including united states including tony blinken and every other persons they are aware of our struggle they were just turning a deaf ear turning a blind eye into it that is the reason why you see them promoting election you see them you know everywhere you see obedient everywhere obedient people are promoting that this election must be free and fair you know more at more than ever before because they know that it is now or never they know and the reason why they did it Stumbling block for having in mind or believing that IPOB just one moment. I I think we are not coming out to now or never. One moment. And no. Oh. And the reason why they did it. All right, all right. The reason why everyone is actually promoting Nigeria election in from the first world countries, from Britain, of course, you know, when you talk about USA, there are British people. They are British people. The same people that are the ones who came here, who came, you know, you know, to Nigeria, and they are the same people who went to America. They are the same people. So, when they started projecting this election must be free and fair the reason being that it is because they know that it is now or never if the if if they promote election and they expected ipob to actually say there will be no election in biafra land in order to rule ipob down they in fact to defeat us diplomatically that was their plan and that was where they have you know what they have planned and set up for ipob and that is that same thing i always tell you that it is the western agenda behind what the criminal in finland has been propagating he prop he was propagating it i don't know if he knows about this agenda but the fact is that he is the willing tool they are using to do this to propagate this so that the blame will be upon ipob even those who are propagating obedient 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 will now come to blame ipob that you people are enemy of progress that we are the reason why we the last chance we have to have you know to be have Igbo presidency has been you know taken away because of ipob and their agitation to hell with their agitation we are no longer interested in their agitation. That is going to be the order of the day. That was what was go what you were going to be hearing immediately when they declared I'm Bola made the Tunubu winner or Atiku Abubaka winner. This is what you are going to be hearing. You will not have it anymore that the election was rigged. You will have it that it is IPOB, it is Biafra. They have scuttled the last chance we have. Now, IPOB escaped that. We escaped because we are wise. We know the forces that is we are up against. We are not stupid. We are not foolish. What we are doing, we are more diplomatic, more than ever before, because what we need in this game that they are playing, we need diplomacy. With diplomacy, we can win Nigeria. We can get Biafra without even going into any war. 
except if those in the first world country or in the western world does not want to tell themselves the truth or the international community except if they don't want to tell themselves the truth that is what might you know trigger violent to get this biafra that we are fighting for is biafra going to come biafra is going to come as long as we have run away from this trap that have set for us because so many of you does not know that obedient is obedient is part of western agenda against ipob against biafra struggle it is part of western agenda let's bring him that's why they promoted him you know, they made sure that they made him be, you know, the advert, everything. People love him. People rallied around him. Then you want to become the stumbling block and you say that you are IPOB. The same people rallying around him are not going to be the same people that is going to detest you. The same people, the, the same Biafrans are going to detest you. Just like they have already started making a statement, the, the one that was ad addressing the foolish man in Finland saying, um, if Igbo people miss this chance, the chance of this presidency, that if war has to break out in Nigeria, we will join force with Nigeria and fight against you. That has been the plan. And that is how it was going to be. Because they will tell you that Igbos are their problems. <laughs> Igbos are their problem. Today, Igbo is not their problem. Biafrans are not the problems. Biafrans and IPOB, we are not the problem. You are now going to be waiting. So many of you, you are happy, your heart is skipping a bit, hoping to see what will be the end result of this election. Some of you are having sleepless nights glued in your TV, glued in your newspapers, trying to see the result. Of course, Whatever you see there, you will know that that is as a result of what you get. Whatever outcome it may be, the struggle continues. We are not backing down. We are not backing down. Whoever that assumed that office, we present our own request. Our own request through our Ohamadike, because Ohamadike must be free. They have carried out their election. They have carried out their election. And this election that they have carried out, now they have to release our leader now. There is no other reason why they will say they are keeping our leader there. Because our leader must come out. Now whoever that is going to go into that office must now talk with our leader. He must speak with our leader. Once he speak with our leader, and the IPOB now, led by Ohamadike, will now present our agenda. Then it's up to them to carry it out. It's up to them to turn it down. It's up to them to say we are not doing it. We are instead we are going to use iron fist on you. And they bring the iron fist. <laughs> you know, that is when we will you know make sure that this biafra struggle goes to the next level because we have given them time enough we have actually you know exercised patience we have been diplomatic we've been disciplined and we've been peaceful and our request is very clear our demand is very clear we want Biafra. We want Biafra. Where we will be able to decide our fate. Where we will be able to decide our fate. Where we will be able to control our resources. Where we are not going to be, you know, controlled by anybody, Godfather, or anybody. Because anything that is going on in Nigeria today... Any president that is in there, it is as a result of there is a godfather called the Fulani who made them to ascend that throne. So it is not going to change anything. The most important thing is that the election have come and gone. We are now.
Mazen Nam de Kano. There is no other excuse which will, you know, they will give that if they release our leader, he will scuttle the chance of uh, um, Atiku being a president, or he will scuttle the chance of uh, Bola Medi Tunubu being a president, or that he will scuttle the chance of uh, Obedient being a president. There is no such thing anymore. There is nobody to, no chances to be scuttled. Now it is our leader. Release our leader so that he will go and attend a medical checkup. Because it does not matter who is there. In case if anything happened to our leader, whoever that will go to that throne will not enjoy it. That is the most important thing. Our uh, election is finished. The select the the the, the advert and the whatever is finished. We are now waiting for the selection process to happen. So there is not nobody that is going to actually interfere with the selection process that is upcoming. So all we need is for the release of Ohamadike. We saw that Ohamadike is having, we heard that he's having passed in one of his ears. Which was as a result of how they beat him, they actually manhandled him in Kenya. Probably they have actually, um, they are, must have broken his eardrum. So the most important thing is for them to release him, for him to go and have a proper medical checkup. There is no other reason why he is still there. It is something that is going to bring us, you know, and Nigeria a big problem whether this imposter in Asoro could leave the office whether he stays or whoever that goes there let nothing happen to our leader let nothing happen to our leader the games that you people are playing let nothing happen to Mazen Namdekan it is very very important that we warn you we have not lose guarded we just wanted to play your diplomacy. And now we have given you chance to do what you want. Release our leader. It is our one of our demand. Then our leader will demand whatever he will he will want for, for Biafrans from whoever that is going to be in that position of office. It is a task that must be done. So now one thing you should understand i am not going to actually continue with this you know what they are planning how they have planned to rig the election just like um you know that i'm going to make a video and uh, you know talk about the election rigging plans so after the result is out after, only after the result is out that's when we will do that exposition but for now what we are here to remind you is that IPOB, Biafra struggle, led by Mazen Namdekano, is the reason why P2B was in the REM light. And whoever that is involved should not forget. It is the reason why he went in, you know, he, be, he captured the REM light. And no one will deny that. If not for the, uh, you know, emergence of IPOB led by Mazen Namdekano and the Biafra struggle, you will never hear anything about Pito beginning momentum the way he gone, he gained momentum, the way he received, you know, people's interest. It is because of IPOB and Mazen Namdekano. So, you cannot steal our glory. After stealing the glory, what IPOB have labored for, what IPOB have died for, what IPOB are still dying for, you cannot steal it and you go if eventually they leave the selection process and give you what you deserve. If you go there and you start misbehaving. Because I know and I have said it time without number, if you bring angels of God and put there, in that position, they will be compromised. 
The reason why they will be compromised, it is not because they want to be compromised. It is because of the system. The system that actually controls the people who are sitting in the position of power in Nigeria. It is the system that is the reason why that is compromising them. Because the system will never enable you to do something productive, to do something beneficial to the, to the indigenous people or to the people that you are presiding over. The system will never allow you. Plus, they have planned that once you, if they did not, once come to us, you go into power. They will use terrorism. They will use all this Islamic um, state to destroy, to disgruntle everything that you are planning to do. So it is part of the system. It is part of the system. If the system is still the system you are going to sit upon, there is, believe you me, there is nothing that you are going to do in Nigeria to thrive. It will mean that your regime might be worse than the regime of this person leader. The regime of this APC that just came and gone. The, your regime will be worse. Because of course you are evil man. If you do anything good, it will be a slap to the faces of the Yoruba man who was there. It will be a slap to the faces of those Hausa man who has been there. It will be a slap to the faces of this Fulani man who was there before the imposter. It will be a slap to them. Do you think they will allow you? They will never allow you. They will make your position ungovernable. So you, Pito B, I want you to also pray that you don't even go to that power. Because it will, it will look like, you know, it will, you know how people have put their, the people they have actually put their hope. You are, pe pe those people you have called you their last hope. You, their last hope. And there is too much expectation from you. Too much expectation from you, which they have never expected from any candidate that is led in Nigeria, that is been, you know, a presidential candidate in Nigeria. There has never been an expectation more than the one they have for you, obedient. There has never been in the history of Nigeria. Prior to the 1999, after the military, you know, after the civilian takeover, there has never been or um, democracy takeover. There has never been any presidential presidential candidate in Nigeria that has high expectation as you have. So it is a very big hot soup that you are going to sit on top of it. And those people that has failed will make sure that you failed because they will be a slap in their faces if you win. So they will never allow you to win. They will never allow you to thrive if you accept that position. You see the reason why? If you bring the angel to put them there, they will fail. Because nobody will ever want to build on top of a sandy soil. You don't build on top of the soil. You make a foundation. You concrete the foundation. Before you start actually, you know, lay a, 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 you know, the, you start laying the structure from the foundation. Now you cover the foundation. Now you know that you made this foundation. You lay the foundation. You have, you mastered the foundation. But if you have actually started working, building on a foundation that was laid by another man, you know what is going to be the end of it. You don't know the foundation, what, whether it is for two-story building or for three-story building. So that is the problem you are going to face in that position if you get to that position. Let me be honest with you. If I think you get there, they don't care. Whatever is their outcome, they don't care. He has been there. If I saw you be there, if whatever that is going to be of him, it will only kill him.
it will only kill him. That is something that we need to now write it down. As I am giving you what you are going to expect from all these three candidates, whoever that assume office. Now, Atiku, the pressure is going to kill him. I'm sorry, the um, Emilokon, the pressure is going to kill him. Whom you are voting for, it is going to be that Fulani, um, the terrorist um, man, uh, call his uh, um, fellow Muslim ticket. That is what you are voting for in APC. Write it down now that I said it will not be more than two years. It will not be more than two years. You will remember that Judge Money said. Now, another thing is that if you vote for Atiku, he doesn't care whether he got it right, whether he is criticized, he has been there, he has built a resilient, he has built a barrier, he knows how to withstand the criticism, he, he knows how to use force to actually, you know, sideline his criticizers, those who criticize him. So he has been there with Obasanjo. So one thing, the only person that the expectation is too high is at obedient because he's Igbo man. Igbo man that does magic. The fact that you do magic, it is not in that structure called Nigeria. You can never do your magic in that structure called Nigeria. If you win, congratulations. But I am telling you, I am reminding you of what you are going to actually expect or what you are going to get. Because a lot of you are going to that position regardless of what you is going to happen. But your own is different, obedient. Your own is quite different. People have high expectation of you. So you will be shaking while you are going to be going into that office. Of course, you are a politician. You people know how to build a barrier. In fact, build a resilient towards criticism, towards people's, you know, cry. It doesn't affect you guys. But your own is going to be worse. Because now you are going to now preside over the people who actually believe that they have taken you. They picked you up. They have given you this position. They have done you a favor. You are now going to be presiding over them. So you don't even have any breathing space. The Fulani will be, you know, hitting you. The masses of the zoological republic will be hitting you. An international community will be hitting you. They say they want Igbo presidency. Now Igbo presidency is worse than every other president that has ever Nigeria ever had. Because that is the point they will prove. Worse come to worse if they eventually give you that position of power. Believe you me. That is the narrative that they're going to prove. And now, on the other hand, IPOB will be one side. We are going to be there. Demanding for our right, our sovereignty. Because whatever you believe you are going to do there, I am not saying that you might not have political will to do something. I am not saying so. You might have all the will in the world, political will in the world, but will the system allow you to exhibit that political willingness? Is The answer is no. That is when you will understand what exactly is the problem in Nigeria. That is exactly when you will understand exactly what you know, we are agitating for. Every force is going to be against you, obedient, if you win. You know, like I said to you, if I am going to be called to be Nigeria president, I will turn it down, believe you me. I will turn it down. Because I will not thrive. I will never, there is nothing I can do in that in that cycle called Nigeria, you know, system. There is nothing I can do. It is not because I don't, I don't have quality of being a good leader or I don't have the will to be a good leader. It is as a result of that system. No matter how strong you might be to fight the system, not to stand in your way, you know what is going to be? 
When you try to fight the system not to stand in your way, they are going to bring a sabotage, media sabotage to you. And while they're bringing that media sabotage, some of these people who has been backing you up are going to pick it up and say you are the worst. <laughs> that is how, how bad it is going to be for you, obedient. That is how bad. That is the reason why we say we are not going to interfere. We are not going to interfere. And I am telling so many of you for you to be aware of what you are going to face. It is not going to now, if you say, let me fight this system, let me fight every additional, you know, attack coming from anywhere, it will, you will be fighting it while having loopholes in the service delivery. You will be fighting the system while you will be having loopholes in the areas where you are supposed to actually be delivering your service. You will be having loopholes there. Because you can never, ever put all these hands inside the mouth together. Except if those whom you are, who gave you this power, if they have seen, except if you will be able to open up to them and tell them, this is what we are fighting. There is a force that is actually stopping us from doing a good job for Nigeria. That this is what, of course, you cannot open up. Because they did not put you in that position for you to complain. They put you there for you to deliver. That is the worst, you know, that is how the conundrum that you will find yourself into. You don't have right to complain. You have right to deliver a service. So now, you, have, you will be in that position. If you fight the system, it delays the service delivery. If you fight in the system, Terrorists will be coming in. Now you will be fighting terrorists. Fighting the system that produced these terrorists. You will forget that you will do service delivery. Believe you me. And that's where the people who place you, who have high expectation of you, will start now. They will start murmuring. They will start murmuring. And now play pressure. Pressure will come from everywhere. Pressure will come from everywhere. Maybe in second tenor you will run away. <laughs> I am saying it the way I am saying it. The reason why I am specific about you, if this shenanigan allow you to go there, it is because you, the expectation people have of you is bigger than the expectation people have of Ahmed Tunubu. It's bigger than the expectation people have with Atiku. Why? Because you are evil. The marginalization is the expectation. Because you are evil who has been marginalized. You, that's why now, because you are going into power, they expect you to use two years, three years, four years to do magic that nobody has ever used eight years to do. You see now people will turn against you. People will criticize you. Why maybe you are fighting the system? Why maybe you are fighting Boko Haram? Why maybe you are fighting ISWAP? Well, because you will have a lapses. There will be so many lapses. That's when those people who has praised you, you will start hearing a derogative word from them. Now you become more confused. Now you become under pressure. Now you don't know where to turn to. Now you become so, you know, you become so, you, I don't know, you will become so confused and useless. That's how and where it will result in that regard. On the other hand, will be agitation. Agitation, because it will, it will, it will be, the agitation will be very, very, you know, it will gain momentum. Now, if P2B did not win this election, all these people who believe that political process is going to solve the problem of the indigenous people of Nigeria, they are now going to realize, no, IPOB and Anam Dekan, we have been right all along. Now let us go back. You will see them, they will start commenting. You will see them start coming to the media space. You know what they will start doing? Uh, you are doing well. They will start telling you you are doing well. Uh, this and that. They will just find their way back. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they have wasted their time. Because there is nobody in their right mind who will want to bring a problem to this election. 
when even the people you claim you are fighting for their freedom are gunning for P2B, <laughs> anybody that is said that they are agitating and they want to interfere in this election and say they are boycotting it, you should know it is as a result of bribe given to them by opposition party. Because do they know the truth? They know the truth. And I told you all this while. It is not like they don't know the truth. But when you collect money to do something, you must do it. You must do it. That is exactly what is going on. If you collect money to do something, you must do it. That's why they wanted to scuttle your, you know, to prove the point that you want to prove. Because those whom you are claiming you are agitating to give them Biafra, those people, they are gunning for p They are gunning for election. Now, how are you going to now bring them back? Is it by force? By saying you are proposing it at home, by force. If anybody come there, if all from now or whatever they see, they take. Then you give those people uh, chakapo, bubble barrel chakapo. You give them chakapo to come and face police. You see how they were shot like animal. The same people that are working for Berima, you see how they were shot like animal. They were there in their platform. They were claiming they don't want to report it. Because when they kill somebody's child, when they kill, when they send somebody's child to go and die, they will kill them. They will never ever even pay a tribute to this person. That is the worst part thing about these criminals. They send them because the, the job that was assigned to him by Tinubu, it must be done. It must be done. So that's why, because now it has become a problem that now Finland knows his activities. Now he has to, there must be something that was done so that, you know, if East did not go, was must go. That's why you saw those people that were shot like animals. It is people's children. Okay, that is by the way. How did Simon started doing what he was doing? He was desperate. How did all this irat that is backing him up? How did all these bloggers that started? You see, when they were, you know, when they called them COVID nineteen, COVID nineteen uh, agitators, you will now understand how did he come in? He came in because of COVID nineteen rendered him bankrupt. He had no business. He had nothing to do. That is when Biafra agitation, you know, become the last hope. He now started, he started, after interviewing Mazen Namdekan, he started duping people, start making visas, taking people's money in the name that he's making visa. He did it. He took people's money in the name that he's making visa. Did he bring that money back? The answer is no. He duped them. From there now, he saw that Mazen Namdekan was kidnapped. The next thing they did, he did is that, was that he started now to bring himself to the rem light. Bringing himself to the rem light, what happened there is that he started now calling himself the spokesperson. Start raising fund. Because that money is the only reason why he started doing what he was doing. He was so broke that he made himself available after interviewing Mazen Namdekano. You don't know that he was using IPOB and Biafra struggle and the fund that he's raising as, what do you call it? Will I call it an uh, incentive or will I call it a um, rescue towards his, you know, crumbled finance as a result of COVID-19? That is the reason why he came in. That is the reason why all these people that are behind him came in. Because they have to make money through the struggle. And that is the reason why he is being investigated today. Because of money in Finland. And it will make him to lose his position. After that, after that, that's when he went into this you know, 
That is when he went into betraying IPOB. Because he was so broke, he was desperate. A an hungry man. He went, he came in. Believe you me, everybody was desperate during lockdown. Everybody who is in a corporate, you know, field, in a corporate world, we are all desperate. But not desperate in this regard. That you will not have conscience. That people, you will, you will trade people's lives for the sake of, you know, actually stopping yourself from going bankrupt. Stopping yourself from living lavish life that you use your money to live in the last two decades that you've been in Finland, that you have never used your, you have never done anything productive where you come from. It is only during the time of IPOB. So many of you, including our leader's siblings, the, as a result of COVID-19 mess everybody, life life and livelihood up so many of them have to resort to why they have resolved are you now seeing the reason are you now seeing the reason that finland is capitalizing on investigating this guy in money 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 because money investigation it is as a result of him being so you know he was so eager to get that money and he violated the more of um, law in Finland of raising money or or gathering money he violated it so today he used IPOB to secure his paycheck he used IPOB as his career have you wondered the reason why? When he is broadcasting, he opened the website, he created an app, he created YouTube, he created all these things just for money making. While the ones making himself available, who will come and bribe me so that I will scuttle the activities of IPOB and call them terrorists? They have woman he pick up there. Who will come and bribe me so that I will call for sit at home in Biafra land during election? APC, the pick up there. Are you now seeing what is going on? Why is it that people are no longer counting days? You have like seven or eight days to go to get you Biafra. Why are you no longer counting the date? You say there is no election in Biafra land. What happened? What has ever Simon said that he has ever completed? All he continue to do is every day he come online, he give you a false hope and extort money from you. After extorting money from you, he will go and hide in his two by two room. After extorting money from you, he will go and hide in his two by two apartment. That's exactly what he does. He enriched himself with IPOB money. So where is the Biafra? Where is the war? Where is the election boycott? Where is all of them? Where is him saying that he's not scared to be called a terrorist? Because he knows it is the words that you want to hear. And he used it to dupe you. He used it to kill you. He used it to destroy so many lives and their livelihoods. Because you want to hear everything. Our, it is all about you hearing what you want to hear. It is always like that. And it, is, it has always been like that. Because of your gullibility and your vulnerability. They will always use, they will always, you know, make sure that they manipulate you. After today, after this election, after everything, you will hear him, you know, you will stop seeing him from social media. He will stop coming on social media every day. We are still counting, you know, eight days to go to give you Biafra. Those who reason and think from their annals 
Have you stopped counting? The counting must continue. Because some of you think from your anus. You don't think from your brain. Your frontal lobe is not actually functional. That is the reason why somebody that is bankrupt will come and they will lie against the leadership, the structure, tell you they have taken money, they have gone to Nigeria to drive Jeep, they have sold Mazen Nam the Kano, just like the, 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 the one called Kano Takano and the, the double profit, uh, master profit or whatever he call himself, all of them, criminals all over the place. In the COVID-19 on the Jeep logo, the Nuku. COVID-19 removed rapper from their waist. That is the reason why they all started going, eh, mo, this and that. All of them, they were recruited into this shenanigan. They were recruited into this shenanigan. When Simon Eba was talking about uh, um, making Biafra money and printing Biafra money and talking about cryptocurrency, you don't know it is where he used to receive the money that the politician gave him to use it to scuttle your chances of Igbo presidency. He used cryptocurrency to catch that money. Cryptocurrency. Because cryptocurrency, most of the time, it is not traceable. That is the reason why this the one that is calling himself Pastor Diru Kanya Wolasid. He came and started debunking it. I have some peace in that uh, video. He came and started debunk he came and start uh, complaining because he claimed that they are in think tank committee. They call themselves think tank committee. I hope all of you are aware of Didio uh, Tudiru Kanya Wolasid. Who call himself a pastor? He's doing ministry work. He come. He continue to tell you uh, everything we are doing. We are more than we are elderly people. These elderly people, you know, talking. Why is it only you know? It is elderly people. Elderly people talking. It is elderly people in that think tank committee. That's what they continue. He continue to talk, say. Look at him, Onyoshi, criminal. He does not know that the Ebelima in Finland is the bigger criminal. This is a mecca living stone. Uh -huh. He does not know that the Ebelima in Finland is the bigger criminal. Also, he even the pastor by Ebelima. Let me show you. Let me listen to this big criminal, the Rukonya Wolasid. Fellow your friends, <laughs> this is a mecca living stone. Let us continue. Me on Facebook. He had been wanting to communicate me for a long time mm -hmm. until the day I decided to communicate him. I told him my vision. The man said, Wow, that is good. That Let me can, show you how he is lying to you people. In the, in the one, the one they are facing is to be in the Afro currency. You don't have anything, you don't have anything, but we you are. have already started planning who face is going to be in the Afro money. Useless people. This is the reason, this is how he. He, 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 what he present, all of you who ha, uh, who don't have any soul, you don't have any spirit, you bought it. They have already started arguing who, who, whose face is going to be in Biafra money. Stupid people all over the place. It's not a bad man. It's not a good thing. You go be a motor, but you go, you go tire. You never buy a car, but you are looking for tire. You never laid any background. You never laid any background. But you are already, you know, looking for... You don't even have any structure. You have already started looking for how your currency will be. For you to know that everything he does is about your money. Money, 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 money. That's why he started telling you who will be in the currency. L listen to this bastard. Bastard who called himself a pastor. His face is like they pour him acid. That is his wickedness. When you look at that man, you will you will see, when you look at him, you will see somebody that I call, well, what do I call him? That, who are those people who rape children? Somebody remind me what you call those people who, who rape children in English. Is it, um, what do you call those people who, 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 who rape children? 
It is Pavat. Uh, is this? Uh, is it? Um... Hey, who? What do you call these people? Please, uh, people who who pedophile, pedophile. Thank you very much, okay, Chuku. Thank you very much. When you look at this man, he does he not look like a pedophile to you? Look at him. He look like a pedophile. Does it not look like a pedophile for you? These are the type of people. Criminals. Listen. Here for Biafra. And to encourage Simon Eba so that he does not make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Because already there is a mistake somewhere. So let me start by telling about ETTG. I had a vision for an economic think tank group for Biafra, whereby I looked into uh, Sudan when they had their independence because they were not prepared for an economic project that could give people job and food. There was an implosion. So we are looking for a way to avoid this. That was why the dream, the vision for the ETTG came. We looked into Israel and saw that the Israelites were able to organize themselves and build their nation without fighting. So we saw it and said, well, we can do the same and even learning from Israel to do better than Israel did. <laughs> and so ETTG was formed. Mm -hmm. And when it was formed, there was an elderly man who used to listen to me on Facebook. Elderly he man. He been wanting to communicate me for a long time until the day I decided to communicate him. I told him my vision. The man said, wow, that is good. That Emeka, the man is about 77 years. How about age, he yeah? said, listen, you have a vision. Mm -hmm. I am going to give you every support you need, but you will drive it. Mm -hmm. The support is not financial support, though. No. Mm -hmm. It is psychological and moral support. I said, okay. He said that what you are venturing into is a big project, mm -hmm. but I shall stand behind you. <laughs> and so we formed the ETTG and I brought in people and we started then I now took it to Simon Eber and told him we have this project for Biafra so that when Biafra comes people will have something on ground and Biafra can take on immediately very well, to without go. problem Not when he Biafra said oh that is wonderful to go. and I called Azuka and told her the same thing they agreed and Simon visited our platform and blessed us. Mm -hmm. And said we should continue. And that he likes it. He said, okay. Him. And then as we progressed, we began to enlarge the platform. We wanted more people because it is not something which just seven people can do or six people or five. We need as much as 11, 15. People with different ideas mm -hmm. because they were going to be committees and subcommittees that would go out <laughs> all through the whole world Get information. Look at the people who are going to manage your 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 finance, your money, and everything. The think tank, the criminal think tanks. What is his profession? <laughs> Hi, autopilot is a joke. You people are jokes, gangs of thieves. Look at this one. Look like a pedophile. Continue listening to his the way he manipulate and the, deceive all of you. He went to elderly man. Elderly man. Is it not elderly people that are ruling Nigeria today? What have they achieved? Elderly people, elderly people. He tell, he's telling you elderly man. Thieves! <laughs> Listen. Bring their friends, let them bring ideas on what we shall do for our nation. And that committee needed people who were selfless who are selfless mm -hmm, like you most of my committee members are elderly people mm -hmm. they are only the, the young people there is kelechi ngosi or mm. ruby um i think so those are the young people there because they're about 50s but all others we are 60 something mm -hmm. to 70 something this to 80 something, something. so these are elderly people so we have the vision and the policy 
that when you come into this community, come in humility. Leave your bishop and doctor in your closet. Come here as you are. Nobody is above anybody who wants to work for Biafra. And we are selfless. Like I've always told you, I am not interested in Let leadership. Let me forward it a bit. Let me hear because this he can correct himself again and we move on. Mm -hmm. Nobody is infallible. Let's hear what you said there. This platform, on this platform, she, her name has been mentioned. Her name is Mrs. Adasai on Isukama. She's about 60 something, 67 years or almost 70 years. She's an elderly woman, a lawyer, many years standing, a woman of high regard and honor, mm -hmm. a born again Christian to the core. Ah, no, I man. love her and respect her so ah, no, man. We'll be born again. So that our secretary left. I'm not going mm -hmm. to mention her name. And that was when Kelechi came in. Remember, when we have problem with Nsima and others, mm -hmm. I told the youth in Biafra, young girls and young boys, come into the auto pilot media mm -hmm. and take your position and disseminate information. Mm -hmm. That was show people like Masi Victor Uguano, Uzaganobi. They came up and were writing. I, I brought you Kelechi into the Biafran um, IPOB media media platform, autopilot media platform. Mm -hmm. I brought in Team Justice, Biafra Writers of Conscience. I brought in Juliet and Ibeze in my economic think tank group because she, the, 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 there was no, there was some little squabbles, squabbles in the in the um, in the um, autopilot media, so I just left. I said, "Come, come into the platform and mm -hmm. see what you can contribute, especially on security matters." <laughs> and then we have this girl. They call um, I've forgotten her name. She once complained uh, that I abandoned her. She's a problem. Later on, she left. So these people came and began to thank you, Victor. I like this your comment. This issue should be resolved behind us. I know why I'm talking. Pay attention. This is war monging. This is no. This is uh, money mongers. They are fighting among themselves for the sake of <laughs> position and money in IP in the in their autopilot. I'm not. I want it to roll so that I will give it a conclusive analysis. Yeah, friends. No, we are marching on to a victory. I want you to know something. I want you to know something. We're marching on to a victory. So we are not here to condemn anybody or use hard languages. Mm -hmm. If at the end of the day, when I finish talking and you realized, you realize that Simon Epa made a mistake in his broadcast or whatever he's thinking, mm -hmm. you don't have to condemn him because he's a human being. Mm -hmm. God anointed Solomon, mm -hmm. appeared to him twice. Mm -hmm. And yet Solomon at the end disappointed God. So you, you should not look at, Simon Epa has a lot on his head. Mm -hmm. To deal with too many problems that come. So if he if he misses something somewhere, it's no reason why people should condemn him because he can correct himself again and we move on. Oh. Nobody is infallible. So I want you to get it straight. So what happened? I told Ungosi, if you are going to come to this platform to join us, come first an observer with our team. And as you come in, listen to our analysis. As we hold our meetings, if you are impressed and want to join us, then come up and join us in the Stru economic think tank group. You're welcome. Economic think tank group. Stroke change is set, you Stroke change is set, you The economic think tank group. The problem, the challenge is there now. I, I, I hope you remember when Eberima came online and said that we will no longer have economic think tank group. <laughs> we are dissolving economic think tank group. Because structures is said to all they they don't you know some of the people there their eyes don't open. See say if I look here ball this is a game as they are discovering this is a game and they are not getting what they're supposed to get. That's what brings this man to start talking rubbish that he's talking here. Exactly what brought him to start talking rubbish that he's talking about here. But continue listening to him. And so she brought her team. And when they came, they listened to us. And they were very impressed. And they said they were going to be part of the team. Now, the man who started this thing with me is an elderly man, like I told you. I won't mention his name. Mm -hmm. Elderly man. He has been doing a lot of Biafra behind the door. So he doesn't want to be mentioned. I will not mention his name. Mm -hmm. It's a man I respect a lot. And so... When Ngozi and others show 
That reminds me. That reminds me. There is as an Afif H two Afif Kalubi. Eloba. That reminds me. I want you to remember there is something he said here which remind me of the activities of Kano, Emmanuel Okano and the lawyer Nemekeji Ofo. Do you people remember when Nemekeji Ofo claim he went to Onyendu? He went to Onyendu to go and uh, and Onyendu told him he went in the company of uh, Meme and uh, the father-in-law of Mazenam the Kano. Have you remember? Do you guys still remember? Where he also said that Mazen Nam the Kanu say, Do you people still remember that time? That I don't know if you people still remember it. I only have 30 minutes to go. I won't be stretching this guy's program. It is so, so long. But that reminds me. That time that Nemeke Jofo went to Onyendu. And he claimed that Nonyendu said to him he should go and meet some certain people. That the only person he is going to mention was Femi Falana or Femi Falana. I don't know. That Onyendu said to him that he should go and meet some certain people for his release. Now I want you to know that I have decoded what exactly he meant there. The message he meant there is that they actually write an open check. They actually write an open check. And this open check is all about the reason why you heard that Mazen Namdekano's family members are going to politicians to beg for money. They are going to politicians to beg for money. I am, I am actually digressing because this, is, this news is very important. They wrote an open check the reason why he mentioned Femi Falana, it is somebody that, of course, who I believe he is not going to, I don't think he is important in what we are doing. He just used that Femi Falana to, a, you know, off ramp. And he said that Mazen Namdekano told him to go and meet so many people that it is not, he is not going to mention the names of those people. That was when he was signing an open check. He was actually with an open check so that if they go to Hope Uzodimma, of course, once any of these governors hear that Mazen Nam the Kano, um, they are doing this, they all want to be in a good book because they know that Mazen Nam the Kano knows all of them. If they go to any politician, they say they will go and tell the politician, you know, you are part of the people that Mazen Nam the Kano say I should meet. Do you know you heard the broadcast and the report I gave to IPOB? You are part of the people he said I should meet, and it is about the uh, about money for his legal team. You know, then they will send lawyer to go and collect. Sometimes, are you now seeing the dangerous games that these people were playing? First of all, he started with. I believe I still have that video. I still have that video. I, will, I am postponing this thing of this speed of fire, the Rukonya will work acid. I'm postponing it to next time. Let me, uh, we will talk about it next time because I don't have much time to actually talk about that program. It is a lot of things he said there. So let me see if I still have that voice so that I will play it to you. Because I have been wondering, how are these people going to the politicians, begging them for money, telling them it is for the legal um, fees, and lying to politicians, and using to pol telling the politicians they control IPOB, they run the game, they run the day-to-day -day activities, using it to enrich themselves. They have started a serious secret business with this Biafra struggle, the one at Berima is doing, and the one Canon Takano and the lawyers are doing. Let me. I hope I still have that. Let me check if that video is still in my at my disposal.
is a very very important our people need to understand something these people are playing a very dangerous game with the life of our leader with the life of our leader the broadcast that Mazichina Samoru made a few days ago is what actually said you know what actually reminded me the reason why they claim that Onyendu said you should go and meet this person go and meet that person they you know i will not mention their name that is as a result of open check going to governor randomly hey, if i go to you um, it, you are part of the people onyendu said i should come and meet you, you if you heard in that broadcast i made i made open in the public you are part of those i don't want to mention your name and onyendu we are looking for we are looking for um, um, if it is Emmanuel Mem who will go there. He will say that you are part of those that lawyer was talking about that they don't want to mention their name. We are looking for financial support. We control IPOB. We run the game. We are the leadership. Just like you had um, Mazichina Sangoru lamenting, it is how they are, what they are using. To go and extort money from these people. After extorting money from these people, they will go and act like they are IPOB. Let me, I think I still have some of that, that video. Just one minute. Let, let me get that video. That uh, from an MK Joffo. That has been what probably they've been using Ejima Ko to do. That must be what they've been using Ejima Ko to do. Always Ejima Ko Ko. They have to bring in the MK Jofo. In the MK Jofo started writing a memo. They started writing a memo. That these people, they have brainwashed our leader. These people, they have actually placed our leader into a confessional conference. These people, they don't care about the health, the tolerating condition of our leader. They don't care about it. They want our leader to continue to be there that they will be going around enriching themselves. Those criminals, those criminals, believing they run IPOB, Chukuga, all of them, Oko. I am looking, trying to see if I will still get that voice. Yes. Uh, this is not the voice. Okay, maybe it's this one. Let me see if it, if this is a... Oh, not this one. Nah, man. Our leader, Tala Fufu. Our leader have suffered. Our leader have suffered. Oh. I don't know if you can hear that.
Hold on. I I think I opened a lot of it. I'm going to share it. Mm -hmm. Let me share the... my leader my own leader selegi na ni to ko woni me ni dss that means that means if you want a result to go if you want a result to go na o mo bia fra to ko won ni me i am pushing this way no 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 i would read me i would read me say by from i am member of the i am part of it I promise you, man. Are you me? Can you win? In water? Automatically, yes. And this is what I want to do. They told me, they said it repeatedly, repeatedly. Because I spent with him about 30 to 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's doing this is repeated almost up to five times. Okay. You know? So at the end of the day, I don't know when you are going to get out of here. I said that we are doing our best. I want you to pay attention. We have five papers in court. We have done all that we can do legally in court. You know, so as lawyers, I want to know what I'm saying. The only thing we can do is to start is to look for people who can do the work and not going to do it. Is to look for people. No one will know us. We have our own limits. We can't go and carry carry it out to run our government. Did you hear that? Okay, in which in which people will be able or the possible? Um, well, just one of them can we get it after? One of them. Did you see? This is where they created an open check. Are you paying attention? This is where he created an open check that Mazen Nam the Kanu said that he should start reaching out people. This is money making scheme. He called Fanny Falana, which is not, you know, just the one they will use to off ramp. Without you knowing that this is the plan of these people. They will go to these politicians, they will tell the politicians, you know, Mazen Nam the Kano now recognize you. Mazen Nam the Kano say we should reach out for you. Of course, you know his legal fee is increasing, and you know this uh, shenanigan in IPOB. And of course, we are actually the only people who are actually propagating these things. Um, they will take money from that politician. That is the reason why he claimed that he said Mazen that you will not mention the name of these people. So that anybody that comes to their head, 
they will walk up to that person, which is Emmanuel Meme. They will walk up to that person to go and beg money from them in the name of Mazen Namdekano. Are you now seeing the atrocities that they are committing with the name of Mazen Namdekano, with the predicament of Mazen Namdekano? That is exactly the same thing China Sanwaru was crying about in on Radio Biafra a few days ago. Are you now seeing how it add up? They will go to say that it is Mazen Namdekano. When it is them and these lawyers that they are using to collect the money sometimes, because if the governors do not believe them, they will send lawyers. Are you now seeing the reason why they are fighting Barista Joffo? Are you now seeing the reason why they are fighting Barista Joffo and Michael Zokome? Because they are actually, they have made themselves available. They have created a money-making scheme in this one induced predicament they are making money that is the reason why the idiot who call himself a prophet uh, whatever criminal prophet or in law of uh, mazen nam the kano we come and tell you that mazen nam the kano is better off in the dss dungeon because they are cashing in while mazen nam the kano is suffering and sick in the dss dungeon abuntina was a mazen nam the kano na dss dungeon a pass is coming out of his ears. They are collecting money on a daily basis. Claiming that they are the ones seen to the day-to-day -day activities of IPOB. These are a bunch of criminals. People with no, you know, they don't have any interest of anybody. They only care about themselves. These are a bunch of people that you have seen as people you need to respect in this struggle. Have you seen how they created that? A way of offering. Mazen Nam the Kano sent me to meet some people. Kafane Tinya Kwanu Noku for the release of him. He called Feni Falana. I will not call the name of the other people because it is going to be an open check. Whoever that they have seen, they have access to. They will approach him. Um, His Excellency, sir, you know you are one of the people, my brother, say we should meet through the lawyer. Uh, you are one of the people, you know the lawyers, they don't want to mention your name because of the situation at hand. So you are one of the people, you know his legal fee is now being a problem because there is a lot of problem in IPOB or maybe the money and the finance is no longer coming, you know, and uh, you know, you know, we are in charge of everything now that our brother left uh, behind. So we just bring what's the politician, they will believe that it is Mazen Namdekano. The only thing they are doing, that is what gave this criminal in Finland temerity to do everything he is doing today. Because the family of our leader, they are compromised. These siblings, they are compromised. He gave him the power to do what he's doing. Because they wanted to fight each other. They saw that fighting each other is not working. They say, now, eat your own, let me eat my own. That is exactly what Kanon Takano, Emmanuel Kanon man, is doing using the name of our leader and the predicament of our leader to go and take money from the, the, the so-called politicians. Are you now seeing where it add up? Are you now seeing where it is? I am going to remove this. This is, this, you see what the Exposition of Mazichina Samoru. This is the res result. This is the plan. How they plan it. They plan it all the time. Lawyer will come and announce one or two. Then they will carry out. They will give lawyer their own court. They give lawyer their own court. Now Mazenam the Kanu is asking you Una Choko Unweba. From asking you Una Choko Unweba, he sent you to go and uh, meet some of the politicians. It is politician. That's why he claim he can't mention their name because he knows he, he is trying to attract politicians. Maybe they will go to Soludo. Uh, Soludo, you know that the legal fee is now expensive. They have been doing everything and all this and that. Soludo might give. They will go to every politician that they know that they don't want the 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 the, the, the you know the.
the movement of the people or movement of IPOB, giving them assurance that they are in charge. All of you who are using this struggle, God will destroy all of you using the struggle and the predicament of Mazen Namdekano to cash up. All of you, you people will go into where you will go that people will use make mockery of your of your of your situation. All of you who are involved making mockery of Mazen Namdekano and mockery of IPOB. Or using IPOB as a venture for business, or using IPOB as a business venture rather, and using IPOB as a career. All of you, Chukwo Kikabiyama, we destroy all of you one by one. People are dying for this struggle. You people are cashing up for the, in this struggle. With the, with the blood of people, innocent people who have died. All of you, from A to Z, from you lawyer to the siblings who are using the name of Onyendu and predicament of Onyendu and Mazen Nam the Kano Abu Anante. You people do not care about it. I have never seen all of you come out, any of you come out to propose for Mazen Nam the Kano to go and see a doctor. You people have not done so. You haven't done so. When we proposed that Mazen Nam the Kano was poisoned, the criminals, they came to the bunkit and said it is a lie. Because they want Mazen Nam the Kano to continue to be there. So that they will continue to go to governors, politicians to cash up. This is a bunch of criminals. Oh, 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 good thing ever come out. when good thing come out of you know nazareth the nazareth the good thing that came out of nazareth is mazen nam the Kano. Now those people that are around him are trying to pull him down. They are trying to pull him down. That's what they are doing. But my biggest surprise, that is now the reason why you will now understand that Kanon Takano concealed the 80 days kidnap of our leader so that they will, it will create these opportunities that they are using to cash up today in Biafra land. Some of you who will be, 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 be begin to think it's a joke. Because he will come and brainwash so many of you. You see how they are using the lawyers to play games. Isima Azen Nam De Kano. Career agitators. All over the place. But I can give you All of you. Your, your fall, your damn fall. Is like this. It is very near. All of you. Your downfall is very close. As a Nam de Kano is not, is not what you will use to go and make money. They are reporting the video. The criminals, all of them, they are reporting the video. But they are all criminals. They are all criminals. And I don't care what you, well, whoever that is there. Whatever you think or whatever you write in that comment section, I don't care. All I have seen is that this is when they created an open check. Whichever person that they have seen opportunity to go to, they go to say, this is, you are part of those, our leader. Mazen Nam the Kanu say we should come and meet. You know, when I remember this, when I think about all this rubbish, it aggravates me. It make it piss me off. It makes me so angry. It makes me so angry. But this is where I am going to leave it here. To, until we meet again. Maybe we are going to come back, come back to it tomorrow. That video I was playing. I am going to come back to it tomorrow. I have discovered that I only have few minutes, like less than thirty minutes that time. So, but now I only have six minutes left 
for this program to finish. So, in that regard, I want our people to understand that these criminals, these enemies, Mazenam the Kanus, you know, predicament is putting food on their table. Why do you think they want him out? Why do you think they want him out? That is why Mazen Namdekanu said that Biafra is the last miracle. Biafra is the last miracle. Because even he said that many people will derail. They will promise them heaven on earth. They will promise them everything. Are you now seeing the result of this prophecy? He said that is when you need to go to your brain to endure and persevere and you keep moving knowing that they will throw everything and many things at you. And that is as a result of what they are doing. But because I don't have much time anymore, I only have less than five minutes left. Let me look for this video so that we will use it and we will hold on to it. We will hold on to it. Hi, people. People are very wicked. Ijego. Ijego silike. Enu wekwe meta. Oh, Ijenu. Oh, Ijego silike. Chai. One day, every one day, one day, I make it here. The ego, make ego. I learn one day. Oh, no wonder age was in the Nagogo everywhere na 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 Nigeria. Ogo ego. It is all about ogo ego. Nobody want to work hard. All of them they want it highway. They want it highway. They don't know highway will lead you to your death, to your destruction. That is it. That is it. Chuku mela ya bere. Chuku melo ndi bo bere. Chuku melo ndi bo bere. Chuku melo ndi bi afre bere. God help us. Because what they have done to us. I don't know if they use biological weapon during the time of the war against ndi bo biological weapon that corrupted their dna and made them you know and made them different race because i i don't see the video i want to play let me just anybody i curse is cursed once i condemn you you're finished ask the sabo those that tried to take over power when i was in prison because I valued them, thought they were doing what we all swore to do. As soon as I went into prison, they started to connive to take over power. Where are they today? Because I cursed them, and they will never have peace. I won't touch them, I won't harm them, but they will never have peace. Today they are worthless. Absolutely worthless. That is who we are. Do you know why? Because our hands are clean. Yeah, when we say we are whiter than white and whiter than snow, people don't understand what it means. Now they do. Do you know why? Because anything we touch, we have the Midas touch. Anything we touch turns into gold. Everything we touch. Today, everywhere the zoo is around the world, every major country, we are checkmating them. Hundred no more lies. We are checkmating them. And now the world understands that the face of corruption is the zoological republic of Nigeria. They know. So Magu is a small freedom. A slave cannot, can never give another slave freedom. You say we are slaves in Nigeria and you're a slave to a woman. So how can you guarantee my freedom when you are also a slave? Before you give me freedom, you have to come out of slavery. Let me leave it here because our time is up. 
Great Biafra, wonderful people of Biafra. Until we meet again, stay safe and stay informed. We are going to bring more analysis towards this election and the result tomorrow. And um, maybe tomorrow night, if the result is completed tomorrow, but I know Tuesday, so that we will know who is in that position, we will now actually address that person and address that position and what is going to come out of that position. That you may write it down. And when it's unfolding, you will know that I told you. Until we meet again, bye for now.